we made mention that the night journey, the miraculous night journey known as Laylatul Isra wal Mi'raj, had many, many lessons for the Prophet of Allah. And when we study the story of Laylatul Isra wal Mi'raj after 1400 years, we find many, many more lessons. And we made mention that Allah Almighty sent many, many prophets for the guidance of humanity. But when Prophet Muhammad was traveling through the heavens, he only met seven or eight prophets. So now scholarship, they put on their thinking cap and they try to find the reason why only these prophets. Why did Allah Almighty allow the Nabi of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to meet Hazrat Adam, Hazrat Isa, Hazrat Yusuf, Hazrat Idris, Hazrat Musa, Hazrat Harun and Hazrat Ibrahim? Why? Why not anyone else? Why not Suleiman Alayhi Salatu Wasalam? Why not Dawood Alayhi Salatu Wasalam? So last week we made mention the finding from scholarship pertaining to why the Prophet of Allah met Hazrat Adam and why he met Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu wassalam. Today we're going to make mention of the third heaven where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam met Yusuf alayhi salatu wassalam. We all know that uh, Ahsanul Qasas, the best of stories, is the story of Yusuf alayhi salatu wassalam. So surah number 12 is designated to the entire story of Yusuf alayhi salatu wassalam. And it is the only one story in the Quran, the only one story in the Quran that you will find it in one place from start to end. So you can start reading surah Yusuf and you will come to know of the story of Yusuf and by the time you finish the recital of Surat Yusuf you will get an understanding of the entire story and the story of Yusuf has only been made mention in one place of the Quran in Surat Yusuf nowhere else it's amazing and this is a beautiful story that uh, we should learn with its details and intricacies and share with our children and share with our loved ones because it has so many lessons. Now, Prophet Muhammad met Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam. And now, scholars, they are of this understanding that there was a very, very strong, powerful message for the Prophet of Allah. We made mention last week and the week before that that Laylatul Isra wal Mi'raj took place before migration. Took place before migration and took place after the death of Khatija and Abu Talib. So the Prophet of Allah was in grief. Now when the Prophet of Allah is to return from the heavens, he's going to make hijrah. This was the lesson in meeting Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. He's going to make hijrah. He's going to migrate from Makkah to Medina. And it will be very, very hard for the Prophet of Allah and the resident Sahaba of Makkah to leave Makkah. Because this is where they were born. Childhood memories. That's why many of us, we have migrated here, but a certain part of our soul is connected to our country of birth. Kin galiyo mein hum khele hain, hamare dost, you know, the streets in which we used to play, we can't forget that. We can't forget our childhood friends. So, of course, this is our country and we love this country and we are blessed to be in this country. And Allah protect this country and allow it to grow from strength to strength. But a certain part of our soul is connected to the place where we are born. Now, Nabi Akrima Muhammad is going to return back. And then after one or two years, he has to leave Makkah. 
He has to go to Medina to Munawwara, a new place. So the sign, the lesson in meeting Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam is do not be too upset. Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam had to leave his home city, home country due to his own brothers, biological brothers. They threw him into the well. And Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam had to go through so much before arriving at the platform of dignity, honor, status, and power. Then the same people that threw him out, his own brothers will come to him. And Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam will be in the position to punish or forgive. And Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam opted to forgive. So, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, you are to return back. Everything is not going to be rosy. Everything is not going to be rosy. Before things become pleasant, you have to go through the very, very testing terrain. There's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. There's going to be tribulation. Before you can sleep on a comfortable bed. So Prophet Muhammad Wasallam is taught a lesson. Your own brothers, your own family members from Quraysh will force you out of Mecca. Just like Yusuf والسلام, was forced out. But then a time will come, Allah will give you power, strength, control, financial muscle. The same people that were responsible for your hijrah, for your migration, they will come to your door. And you will be in the position to pardon them or punish them. Do what Yusuf والسلام, did. As made mention at the end of the story in Surah Yusuf, Surah number 12, verse number 92, لا يغفر الله لكم وهو أرحم الراحمين. We read the story, but what a beautiful soul. What a beautiful heart of Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam to make that statement. Somebody says something to us once, we never forget. We're not ready to forgive. The accusation, the time spent in jail. No food, born as a free person, living as a slave because of the brothers. Think about all the pain that Yusuf والسلام, went through. The separation from his father, from his brother, Bin Yamin. All that pain, we cannot even fathom the pain that he went through. And now he's in the position to at least give them one strike throw them into jail for one day, teach them a lesson. But he could see that there was remorse, there was regret, there was nadama. Straight away he said, I have no charge against you. La tathrib, no charge against you. And I'm not only forgiving you, I pray that Allah forgive you as well. That second statement is more powerful than the first statement. I have no charge against you. I'm not going to do anything right now. You have come. You want food. I will provide food. You can leave. But keep in mind that I'm praying for you. My heart is absolutely clean. I am praying for you. That Allah Almighty pardon you and forgive you as well. O oh, Nabi of Allah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You are going to be in that position. Eight years after migration. The Nabi of Allah was in that position. Where Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam found himself. Entering into Makkah al-Mukarramah with 10,000 sahaba. And Allah Almighty grants victory. He grants victory. And the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi salam follows the sunnah of Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam. And makes the same statement. And says that I pardon everyone and forgive. 